This video is for entertainment purposes only. Nothing should be taken as factual. This is all my astrological opinion. Please enjoy. Hey everybody, this is Sonia with Melanin Goddess Life. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another astrological reading. So today we're going to be doing a quick reading with regards to a popular entertainer that has found himself in some legal trouble here in the last few days. Um... This uh, gentleman is facing some serious legal charges. He has been taken into custody. And I just wanted to kind of take a look at the astrology of this person to see what could have uh, prompted this, what he's currently going through, and how this could possibly pan out. So without any further ado, we're going to be talking about the rapper Lil Durk. Now, I, as I always say, most of these celebrities, if not all these celebrities, I do not know these people personally. I do not have a vested interest. So all of this is just my astrological opinion. Um, I know my, my kids and my grandkids love his music. Um, I've heard some, some things that he's been on, but he has definitely been on a steady rise in his career. And this arrest is uh, something, I don't know if it's out of the blue. Uh, clearly, it's not out of the blue. So I guess it's been an ongoing investigation uh, regarding some serious allegations toward him. So anyway, with that, let's get started with his astrology. Little Dirk was born on October 19th, 1990. 92 in Inglewood, Chicago. Now, I was able to get a birth time. I'm not really sure how accurate it is, but it says his birth time was 7 p.m., so we're going to go with that. That's going to make him a Libra sun, Leo moon, and a Taurus rising. So these are his big three. Now, we're just going to get straight into it on the things that uh, stood out for me with regards to what he's going through right now. So first and foremost, he just turned 32 years old, uh, probably a week or so ago. Um, he is in the midst of his Saturn return. So if you know about your Saturn return, that's from the age of around 29 to 33. So this is where we get really, really hard lessons. And this is where our karma comes into play because Saturn is the planet of karma. It is the planet of accountability. Um, and it is the planet of, um, atoning for things that you've done and learning hard lessons. And when we go through our Saturn return, we get challenges in life. And some of the examples of what could be happening with the Saturn return is uh, people probably have relationship dynamic issues. Sometimes they get married, get divorced, they change careers. They may have some type of legal ser serious legal issue, just depending on where your Saturn is placed. But this is a time period where things get very, very serious. And we also go through a season of loss during this Saturn return. So this could be uh, losing someone close to you, losing your freedom, losing something that is very important to you. So currently, Lil Dirk is in the midst of his Saturn return. Um, he's also, with the theme of... 32 each year um we get a theme of our year so with him transitioning into um the theme of his new year which is his birthday year of 32 that is going to be highlighting his ninth house so some of the things that come up in the ninth house is our spirituality our belief system and another thing that comes up is legal issues because the ninth house governs legal issues so we're seeing now how his Saturn return um, along with his solar return are partnering up with regards to legal dynamics within his life. Another thing that I was looking at is um, he's also having a nodal square. Let's just just say that this this gentleman is having a lot of karma coming his way. So he's having his nodal square. So that means his transiting uh, node is currently in his 12th house and it's squaring off into his eighth house. So with that nodal square hitting the 12th and the eighth, this really represents the 12th house represents confinement. Um, it represents specialized populations. So that could look like rehab centers that could look like hospitals and they could also look like jail or prison. So it's squaring off in his eighth house and the eighth house has to do with other people's money and other people's resources. So it has a lot to do with how you're relating to other people on a deep, intimate level. So that is being squared off here. I'm not really sure the details of what's going on with this case or what he's being charged with, but I'm, I'm sure it has something to do with someone that was probably intimately or very close to him. So when I speak about intimacy, please don't think that this has anything to do with the opposite sex or it has to do 
with um, a romantic relationship, which it could, but these are the intimate connections. These are the people that are closest to us. Another thing that I notice in his chart is um, he has Pluto. So Pluto is currently retrograde, so making us look back and reflect on things. And it is at a critical degree. It is at the 29th degree. And in astrology, we consider the 29th degree an anorexic degree. That's when a lot of pressure is put on you. Something has to pop. So currently, it is Pluto's in the sign of Capricorn at the 29th degree, and it is in Dirk's 10th house. So if we know anything about the 10th house, this is the highest point in astrology. This is where we're most visible. And another thing that is here in the 10th house is our reputation and the law. So we're looking at something critically happening around him, which could be equated to his arrest that he's just had um, and him, his reputation, how he's seen in the public is very important at this time. So Right now, just a quick synopsis, um, uh, the astrology of this young man really points to a lot of challenges and changes around uh, his life. Um, I'm also thinking that um, probably some relationship dynamics as well. Not really sure what's going on with his love life at this time. I know he's uh, been in a long-term relationship with a young lady. I'm not sure what's going on with that. But currently, these are the aspects that are kind of jumping out. I'm sure there's a ton more. But these are the ones that are really, really big to me that kind of speak to what he's going through right now with regards to this legal situation. Okay, so that is my synopsis. Um, if you agree, disagree, have any comments, get down in the comments, leave your comments, always be respectful. I would appreciate it. And if you're interested in your own personal reading, please visit my website at www.melaningoddesslife and I will talk to you in the next video.